Reserves must satisfy four criteria. They must be discovered, recoverable, commercial, and remaining based on the development projects applied. These are the words of Saka Adilola Matemelola, who was the guest speaker at the Physical and Virtual 2020 Public Lecture and Awards organized by the Nigerian Institution of Mechanical Engineers, themed Robust Evaluation of Nigeria's Petroleum Reserves and Resources, a case for updating the national reporting standard. It's you see the part of the pool there, when you see the one in the middle, the one in the red horse tonight. Don't worry about the, the you know, those uh, numbers or the stupid that. Just, I won't fall through. And the part there, I won't fall through. No, 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 no. The perspective is not that small of bones. No matter who knows, I mean, I'm not sure who will ask me this part. You have know, things you see all the blue sky things. You seem to have a piece of work in front of them and then to be to mature them. So there isn't much in terms of maturity for those ones. But once you view the water and you discover that the water is all on gas, no one to view, move into the proper format. That one cannot begin their proper maturation journey. The chairman, Lagos chapter of the institution, engineer Dr. Uche Obiajulu, when speaking with journalists, said the event is organized in order to educate the public on the true nature of the oil sector without speculations. Uh, we have looked at uh, how, we, how we do oil business in Nigeria. There are many speculations. There are many speculations. Especially when it comes to estimating, you know, reserves, um, and there are fears. That's even the major one. There are fears in the mind of many, especially politicians. Some will tell you, "Oh, you will finish in five years." Some, you see, somebody asks the question here. It, it's just the same question everywhere. So this one, Dubai, this one, they say Dubai did this one because they know how you will finish. Uh, what of uh, we have uh, what they call it, solar, uh, uh, the solar energy? What of we have electric cars? Where, where we, you see, we need to place these things in the table of science. And um, being a scientific applica uh, application in, uh, you know, subject, which in general is, we need to remove speculations and bring it to science. So we decided to make this a topic to, to tell people what reserve is, how to estimate it, how... Um, what oil does, not just because they see oil, like when they, they talk of petroleum, they think of motor. So to also know that petroleum is used by many other things. He also mentioned that the major challenges faced by engineers in Nigeria is quackery, calling on government to take necessary steps in curbing it. The architects and the but the mechanical engineer has to design this plumbing and all that. By the time I took what the man designed and did the calculation, I discovered I need five inches for my evacuation, for my drainage. But he put four inches there. So as soon as I made this drawing with that, so the problem we have here is why people who are not trained in mechanical engineers are doing mechanical engineering jobs. And doing something into that habit. And that's, that's what it is. Take all the take all the take all the fail that fail structure everywhere. Whether the can pass it, don't check them out. Who did them? So I'm doing the contractor. I mean the contractor himself is doing the man telling them what it is. Or the even the owner of the building is telling them put uh, this. It's like that. So it's not that we're having here that engineers are not being patronized. They feel that they're expensive. But think of just on your own. Assess how many. How much it takes to an According to the national chairman of NIMEC E, engineer Professor M. B. Undaliman, who was ably represented by engineer Dr. Fumelade Akingbagbon in his opening remarks, re emphasized the importance of engineers and engineering in the society, which is to create solutions. 
Engineering is about problem solving. Engineering is about creating solutions. And I want to say that this chapter created solutions in a the pandemic. They created, they looked at the problems and they were able to find a way, which is engineering. Any nation that wants to develop needs the services of engineers. Any nation that is going to grow needs engineers. And mechanical engineering is the bedrock for all engineering. Every engineer was able to come up from mechanical engineering. And that is why we are a dynamic group, we are a dynamic uh, people that God has placed together to ensure that engineering, that development comes to any nation. If you are a mechanical engineer, just put your hands together. On his own part, the director of the Department of Petroleum Resources, Engineer Saka Awalu, who was also represented by Engineer Dr. Akin Sunday Musa, said ongoing efforts of the government to ease the burden of doing business in the oil and gas sector is bearing fruits. The ongoing efforts at streamlining regulatory instruments to ease the burden of doing business in the oil and gas industry and catalyze economic development are bearing fruits as part of the policy objective championed by the Honorable Minister of State of, of Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Brady Silva, through the stare of His Excellency. The event featured the presentation of awards to deserving engineers and the chairman planning committee of the public lecture and awards engineer Abduganiu Tsiamiu was full of thanks to everyone that attended the event both physically and virtually <laughs> And you want your family, yes, I have to, but you have to have a work life balance. So that prompted me to stop all activities of the society. And I'm sorry, I'm more committed than this, but uh, I promise that now that I'm exited, I can now a picture that I can do much more than I did in the past. So that was the only point in my life to say work life balance. Commit yourself to your family. Career, but other things. Okay. We thank you all for your support and for being here today physically. We also thank the other senior colleagues who could not make it to this guy here, but they were online. We were able to see engineer Gani Ogolabi, engineer Wilson Ali, engineer Kopo, one of the national. Thank you all.